Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're looking at the concept of indicial slash exponential equations. First things first, let's get some definitions. An initial equation is any equation in the form a to the power n equal to b, right? Any equation that involves um, an index, right, a base to an index being equal to another term is called an initial equation. In some cases, this term too is raised to its own power, right, or its own index, right? So that's how you do, that's um, a form of initial or exponential equation. All right, so as you can tell here, initial equations are also called exponential equation. And the key idea to solving problems on initial equation would be expressing both sides of the equation in the same base, all right? Whenever you can express the same, um, this, the, whenever you can express the, um, both sides of the equation in the same base, then they can cancel out and you can now solve the initial equation, all right? We'll take these few examples to um, study the concept of initial equations. So the first one there, I have question one. So I'm having 2 to the power x is equal to 32. So I have this. All right, my first task would be express both sides of the equation in the same base. For this one here, the base is 2. So I have 2 to the power x is equal to, for this one here, the base is 32. So I express 32 in terms of 2. 32 is equal to 2 to the power 5, all right? 2 multiply itself 5 times gives you 32, all right? 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So 2 to the power 5 gives you 32. So this becomes 2 to the power 5. So I have this. All right, so in this case, now observe that they are now in the same base, so they can now cancel out. So hence, you can say x is equal to 5. It's this simple. Let's take a second example. So for a second example, let's say we have this 32 to the power y is equal to, I have here as 0 0.25. All right, so let's solve this. Let's get this done. So how do we solve this? We are working with the same concept, which is um, express both sides of the equation in the same base. So how do I do that? First things first, this one here deals with a good knowledge of your um, multiplication table. So I have, I think this one is quite easy because 32 is simply 2 to the power 5. So this one here is simply 2 to the power 5 gives you 32. or to the power y is equal to, let's, let's look at 0 0.25. Now, first things first, here's how to start with this. 0 0.25 is simply equal to 25 all over 100. All right. 25 over 100 gives you 0 0.25. Break this down. To its lowest term, 25 here, 1, all over, 25 here, 4. So this becomes 1 over 4. So that's equal to, this man here is 25 over 100. That's equal to 1 over 4. Simplifying further, this becomes 2 to the power 5 times y, using the product law, power product law. 5 times y gives you 5y is equal to Express this one here in terms of an index. Um, this one here becomes 4 to the power minus 1. Using the negative index law, right? 4 to the power minus 1 gives you 1 over 4. Express this one here in, in terms of base 2. I'm having 2 to the power 5y is equal to 4 becomes 2 to the power 2, all right? 2 to the power 2 gives you 4 into minus 1. So get this done. This becomes 2 to the power... 5y is equal to, this becomes 2, 2 times minus 1 gives you minus 2. So I have this. So in this case here, 2 cancels 2. I have that 5y is equal to minus 2. To get y, I'll divide both sides by 5. To divide here by 5, divide here by 5, this cancels this. So it means that, therefore, we can say y is equal to minus 2 all over 5. That's my answer. Let's simplify the third one there, number 3. So number 3, I have that 3 to the power 2x 
is equal to 27. So I have 27. So I have this. All right, let's simplify this. What do I do? All right. So how do I solve this? First things first, I have this as 3 to the part 2x is equal to 27 is simply 3 to the part 3. All right. Because 3 to the part 3 times 3 gives you 9 times 3 gives you 27. 27 is simply 3 to the part 3. I'm trying to express both of them in the same base. So when they're now in the same base, what happens? We can now see we can cancel out. So this, we cancel this. It goes off. Equate the parts. And now we having that. 2x is equal to 3. So for x, divide here by 2, divide here by 2. This cancels this. So x is equal to 3 over 2. So that's the answer to this question. All right. So that's how we solve um, these questions. So this is how you solve problems involving initial or exponential equations. Let's look at the next concept of solving initial or exponential equation leading to um, linear and simultaneous equation. Initial or exponential equations leading to linear simultaneous equation. All right. All right. So how do we do this? So let's take a sample problem and then see how we solve problems of this kind. It says if 3 to the power x plus y is equal to 9 to the power x plus y and 2 to the power x minus y is equal to 8 to the power x minus y. Find the value of x and y. So how do you do that? Pick up the first one here. This one, I have 3 to the power y plus x is equal to 9 to the power x plus y. My first task would be express both sides of the equation in the same days. This becomes 3 to the power y plus x is equal to 9 is 3 to the power 2, all right? 3 to the power 2 gives you 9 into the power here, x plus y. All right, so work on this. What do I have here? I have 3 to the power y plus x is equal to 3 to the power 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times y is 2y. I have this. So in this case, where they, now, they are now in the same base, they can now cancel out. So equating pass, I have y plus x is equal to 2x plus 2y. So I have this. Okay, so what next here? Yeah? Um, collect like terms. All right, so bring the x this way and the y this way. So x here, yeah, I have x plus 2x comes here, becomes minus 2x is equal to here, I have 2y plus y comes over here, becomes minus y. So I have this. So I'm having x minus 2x gives you minus x. That's simply 1 minus 2. That's minus 1 times x. That's minus x is equal to 2y minus y. That's 2 minus 1. That gives you 1 times y, which is y. So I have this as my first equation. That minus x is equal to y. Let's look at the next one here, this one here. This one says, this becomes 2 to the power x minus y is equal to 8 to the power x minus 3. So I have this. So first is first, express 8 in base 2. 8 is equal to 2 to the power 3 because 2 times 2 times 2, that means 2 multiply itself 3 times gives you 8. From here, you now have that 2 to the power x minus y is equal to 8 is 2 to the power 3 into x minus 3. So I have this. Expanding, I have 2 to the power x minus y is equal to 2 to the power 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 3 is 9. So I have this. So I'm having the same base, which means they can cancel out. So I'm left with x minus y is equal to 3x minus 9. If I collect like terms, right, you can move this one here, over here. So I'm having x 
this is plus 3x plus 3x comes here becomes minus 3x is equal to what I have here is minus 9 I have minus y here minus y comes over here becomes plus y so x minus 3x gives you minus 2x right x minus 3x gives you minus 2x is equal to minus 9 plus y so I'm here at this point here I can now bring back um, this equation here this one here but we said y from here if you say minus x is equal to y that means y is equal to minus x so i have this so if y is equal to minus x in place of y i'll put minus x right so i'm simply bringing this equation here back here so this now becomes minus 2x is equal to minus 9 now this plus y becomes what they said y is equal to what there minus x it becomes minus x so i have this so what next simply bring this one here over here collect like terms minus 2x minus x comes here becomes plus x is equal to minus 9 minus 2x plus x gives you minus x it's just like you're saying minus 2 plus 1 that's minus 1x which is minus x is equal to minus 9 from here minus cancels minus x is equal to 9 we've gotten the value of x as 9 let's get the value of y to get the value of y we we'll use equation 1 so i'll say put x into equation 1 from equation 1 we said minus x is equal to y or y is equal to minus x so y is now equal to what's x there 9 it becomes minus in place of x i'll put 9 so i have this so therefore x is equal to 9 and y is equal to minus 9 all right so that's the value of x and y and this is how i solve this question let's take a second example So let's take a second example. Now this one says, solve the equation 2 to the power x plus y is equal to 8, and then 3 into 2x minus y is equal to 27. So we ask to solve this, um, this equation. So how do you do this? So first is first, pick up the first one here, which is this, this one here. That's 2 to the power x plus y equal to 8. As usual, our first task would be express them in the same base to so express it in base 2 i have 2 to the power x plus y is equal to 8 is 2 to the power 3 all right 2 to the power 3 gives me 8 from here this will now cancel this i have that x plus y equal to 3 that becomes my first equation from the second one here i have 3 to the power 2x minus y is equal to 27 so i have this my tax will now be express 27 in terms of base 3 that becomes 3 to the power 2x minus y is equal to 27 is 3 to the power 3 right all right 2 to the power 3 gives 27 from here this can cancel the same base so i'm having 2x minus y equal to here yeah, i have 3 call this equation 2. so from here i'll have to solve solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously simultaneously so i'm solving one and two simultaneously from one i have x plus y equal to three from two i have two x minus y equal to three so i have this so how do you solve this uh this is one this is two so you can solve this using substitution or elimination method whichever one suits you but from this I, i'm trying to use elimination method Seeing that I have plus y and minus y, I can simply add them. 
because I know plus y plus plus y will give you zero. So I'm adding them. That's using elimination method. If substitution is convenient for you, you can use substitution method. So add them of what do I have here? x plus 2x gives you 3x. This now becomes plus y plus minus y. Plus minus gives you minus. So y minus y gives you what there? Zero. And it's off. And that's now equal to, this now becomes 3 plus 3. And that's 6. So I have that 3x is equal to 6. So how do I get x? Divide here by 3, of course. Divide here by 3. This cancels this. So x is equal to 6 over 3. I have 2. I've gotten x as 2. Let's now get y. How do you get y? You simply put the value of x into either equation 1 or equation 2. But I think equation 1 looks much more easier. So I would say uh, put x into 1. From 1, I have that x plus y is equal to 3. To get y, I'll move x over here. So y is equal to 3. x comes here becomes minus x. So from here, I have that y is equal to 3 minus x is 2. It becomes 3 minus 2. So y is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. So I can say, therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. All right. So this is how I solve this question, please. So this is the solution to this question. So if you enjoyed this video, simply like the video, um, leave a comment, and share to your friends. Also, you can get more of my courses on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimoney.com forward slash courses, and you see the yx slash jam classes. Right? It gives you access to over 100 of my tutorial video courses. All right? And of course, it's a lifetime access. All right? So you can get my full course there on at www.jnimoney.com forward slash courses. Thank you and see you in the next class.